Okay, this video is Unit 5 Web Design in Code HS, which is Coach Manning's Unit 4 for the Intro to Software Technology class. And this video will be for Lesson 5.6, which is the semantics or semantic tags. Alrighty, as usual, I highly suggest you watch the video, look through the examples. I'm going to get started with the exercise. And as we get started, we've got some starter code. Let's see what our assignment is. So the web page, all right, so it wants us to kind of build in. So I've already got body, there's footer, there's nothing for a header yet. But um, it says add the semantic tags, header, main, and footer where indicated. So right here, I want to do header, which is different than the head. And I'm going to put supporting greatness there. And just to clean it up a little bit, we'll do it this way. Then our main content will be our opening main tag. We'll move our closing main tag after Simone Biles quote. And the footer will be down here. And let's do the closing tag for the footer after that little paragraph. All right, so then we're going to indent anything nested under it. Okay, so we've got that in. This is to format the quotes, use the block quote tag. So for each one of the quotes, we're then going to do a block quote. I'm actually going to copy and paste that above each quote. Then we'll go back and move the quotes just for simplicity's sake. Okay, and then we're going to cut using Control X. And paste each quote into the block quote above. Okay. So we've done all that, and then it says in the footer at our personal motto. So this is where I would like to think of something deep and meaningful, but it is the end of the school day. My brain is tired, just like yours is probably at this moment. Um, so something simple, I will just... And I say this all the time. And I do try to live by that. So that will be mine to continue. So we submit. All right, and we've got everything. I'm going to close. We'll just do the output just so we can see it. All right, and we see those quotes plugged in. Then we've got our footer. And our motto are ready. So we are done with that exercise. All ready. Next. All right, it says uh, in this exercise, you'll build your own web page using semantic tags. You can use anything school appropriate as the topic of your web page. there will be an article with three sections. All right, here's an example about lenses. All right, so 
some stuff is set up. We're going to have to add certain things. All right, so create a web page that uses the following semantic tags, header, article, footer. All right. In the header, put an H1 with the title of your page. All righty, so I'm going to just kind of go below that for now. I'm going to do a header. And then I'm going to go ahead and get it set up. I'm going to have an article, but within each article, I'm going to have three sections. And this will just make it a lot easier to put a plug and chug once I'm done. So I did the header, open, close. I did the article. Then within that article, I have one, two, three three sections. Each section has open and close and I close the article and then I'm going to have a footer. All right. That will make it a lot easier. And now it says uh, in the header, I'm going to go back now in the header to H1. So just for fun, um, I will do my top three wrestlers of all time. All right, and then each section should be a subtopic that proves more powerful about the main topic of your page. Start each section with an H2. So I will have an H2, and I will go with Sting. H2. I will go with Hulk Hogan, H2. I will go with Dusty Rose. All right, and plenty of debate for all of these, but all right. And then it says start each section with H2 tag, um, and then a paragraph tag that contains a sentence or two about the topic. All right, so I'll do a paragraph here. Okay, and then I will have a paragraph on time. So I'm just putting general notes about these people. I know a lot of you don't like wrestling. You don't care, but you can pick your own topic. I'm just kind of plugging in. You're seeing what to do. Um, Okay, so just some general information. Okay, so I created the header. And then in the footer, I'm assuming I need to do something in the footer, put links where people could learn more about each of the sections you mentioned. Um, so I'm just going to do an A tag. Probably need to do, well, I could have them side by side. Let's do that. Um, a href equals. Sting. I'm then going to just do a vertical line, which will separate it, but they all should be on the same line. I 
I did that by uh, the vertical line, I did shift and then the little key above enter. So I made that vertical line. And now I'm going to paste. Okay. Go again. Go vertical line. And paste. So it'll be Dusty Roads. And then what I'd want to do is go to Wikipedia. Go to Sting's Wikipedia page. Copy the URL. Paste it inside the href. All right. All right, you go to Hulk Hogan. Find the href for Hulk Hogan, paste. And lastly, Dusty Rhodes. And Let's save. Let's look at the output. Let's refresh. All right, my top three wrestlers of all time. Oh, we got a section on Sting. So that footer. So there's some stuff going on I probably want to, to fix. Um, so let me go back and go to the assignments. I probably would need to form it with a style. I probably want to change this. So um, body is what it is. Links is what it is. Article. So that margin. Um, the footer. Border padding. It's the bottom of the page. Um, that position. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and submit continue. It just doesn't look great. I did everything. So just for time's sake. All right, we have that done. And now we're going to add some semantics to our career site that we've been working on. So again, take a moment if you need to, pause if you need to, um, but I've been working in VS Code and kind of updating and copying and pasting when I finish. So I believe last thing we did was with the span tag with the job title if memory serves correctly. So the last one would have been the span. Yes. So um, now that we know more, right, we're going to do div. So on each HTML document, replace the following tags. All right. And then update the style rules. So basically this is going to be quick and easy. Um, so what I'm going to go into, I'm going to start with the style first. I'll do this backwards. I'm going to remove the header I'm going to remove the footer and and I'm going to change content to main okay and then inside index where that div class equals header that's no longer a div tag It's just header. That's no longer div class content. That's just going to be main. Main. And that's no longer div class footer. It's just footer. And footer. We'll do the same thing on, oh, let me save that. Do the same thing on job info. of header and close header. We'll have main and close main. And we'll have footer 
and close Twitter. Control S, Control S. And that should be all we have to do. So now it's just a matter of copying and pasting it back in. So let's copy the style. Let's copy job info. And we're going to paste in job info. And let's copy the index. And we'll paste that here. All right, output, let's refresh. Get more information. So our content's still showing up. Alrighty, submit and continue. And we're good to go. Alrighty, so that concludes that lesson.